anyone's able to see this crazy what the fudge happened to this <laughs> what happened there that's awesome just baiting birds that that is the coolest little okay yo what's going on everybody riot here playing our survival evolve i wasn't going to do a video today just because for those of you who were in my twitch stream i just streamed on twitch for like three hours straight which could be a little bit exhausting i'm not gonna lie but this this thing right here is just so freaking cool i had to show it off today i just had to um had to let you guys know what i've been so freaking excited for for the past few weeks and i'm finally allowed to share it i've been given permission to share the videos not by actual dragon punk team but by I guess just a member of the team. I don't know. It should be fine, though. I mean, I got, it's, it's on the Twitter. I'm advertising the Twitter page as well. Plus, I literally got written permission to show it. So I just, I just always assume legal stuff's going to be weird, you know? Because there's always... You never know how weird people are when you're over the internet. So you're like, really? He tried to have his video flagged? What a weirdo, dude. Like, who would do that? I have that conversation at least, like, once every couple of weeks, man. There's a lot of weirdos out there. All right. So it's basically just before I hop in here, because there's just, like, four or five ten-second videos. And then there's just two epic things that i really wanted to show off I haven't been able to show them off in a survival series yet but it's just it's just pretty damn crazy god i feel kind of drained life drained right now but i feel like i just hung out with you guys for like three hours so i don't even need to be 100 percent shipper all the time i can be a little exhausted sometimes you know all right so here we are on the twitter page you can tell i'm on a browser because my face is immediately 10 times wider all right, scrolling on down right here, of course, this is the Dragon Punk at Dragon Punk Game Twitter page right here. Anyone's able to view it. Anyone's able to see this crazy, what the fudge happened to this? <laughs> what happened there? That's awesome. Just baiting birds. That That is the coolest little, okay, don't, okay, yeah, that, that just looks survival plus pulling off that. That's the coolest dinosaur bait I've ever seen right there. God, Ark, thank you for sponsoring Epic Moss. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna have it widescreen so you will see like the little play button and everything but it's because they're, they're all just very short clips but it's pokemon go arc i kind of forgot to explain that it's it's exactly it's it's just like pokemon go it's it, it's not just like pokemon go i'm not saying it's copying pokemon go at all because if anything i feel like this is i i barely played pokemon go i'll play the hell out of this right here dinosaurs actually existed showing them on your phone at, in a landscape in front of you isn't copying pokemon go it's, it's showing something that existed in that area a long time ago very different looking because it's they're mostly they're arc creatures for the most part they 100% are arc creatures so they look like art but it's i feel like it's not pokemon go better not get a legal nancy pants on me ah this four day old soda jesus christ i need to get my life together <laughs> all right here we go keep in mind by the way these are just the first video look there they're in a real park right there stay look how huge they are look at the t-rex because obviously they're not just gonna be little pokemon right in front of you you know what i'm saying let's just keep replaying that for a minute they have to be they have to be life-sized and everything keep in mind yeah if it does look buggy at all this this isn't like gameplay is not available you can't even test you can't even test it out or anything this is literally just the first footage that they were able to put together just to even show the basis for what the game's gonna be and it's like crazy they um they don't just port the creatures in arc they have to be all completely recreated in here it's like not exactly recreated from scratch but they have to be they can't just be ported over whatsoever a lot of hard work and efforts going into this thing it's going to be freaking insane dude i'm going to spend my entire life outside looking for dinosaurs that's it I'm not even gonna be a youtuber anymore screw it what's the point i'm just gonna collect dinosaurs i wonder if this is the same clip no this one they're more looking at the t-rex yeah look how crazy that is that was a very short clip oh and then it gets into the other one. Oh my god look at that look at that right there like imagine obviously a long time from now once it's like finalized complete and perfect and ready for a consumer purchase then it's just gonna be what the hell was that i just spasmed <laughs> but look at this dude imagine just walking around in the park with your family it's not even like oh god damn it my son's gotta go catch a pikachu i know it's this game it'd be like my son's catching a giant ass t-rex over there sir if you don't like it you can just hit the road like, I feel like, like, it's, 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 like, look at that. It's, it would look so perfect. It'd be, like, life-size, too, is the thing. When I first heard about this, it was, I, I saw this video right here. This is the one I had sent to me. And I thought they were just gonna be wee petite, wee petite little dudes. It's like, no. They are legit going to be dying. See, this was, like, the first they were actually able to show it. Fighting on a table. Oh, now it goes, it's, it's, see, it's just, right now, it's just repeated the, uh, the Rex and the Stego biting each other in different, in different scenarios and landscapes. That's how early this is. This is so early that I'm literally showing videos off a Twitter page. That's how early it is. <laughs> I'm not even showing photos off an official website for it. I mean, videos. Literally off a Twitter page. That's how early this is. Oh my god, look at these custom saddles. Who's setting these up? Who, Nivea? 
Oh my god, that that these saddles look insane. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked. It's just Ark, such an amazing game. This is how this is how saddles should have been. You'd you'd be you I don't understand where the pockets are when you put things in a dinosaur, to be honest. I just always assume we're shoving it up its ass. So that's pretty much the gist of this, ladies and gentlemen. What I wanted to show you so you could step into my mind and be super excited for I mean, it just, it, I, I obviously don't think it'd be out in 2018. There's no way something like that. I, I have no idea. I've never developed anything gaming related, so I have no idea whatsoever. But just based off what all of my dev friends tell me, this probably won't be out for a long time. But it's still such an awesome hope for the future. We already have so many amazing things coming in 2018. And this is just to keep the ball rolling. Yeah, Dragon Punk. You guys want to keep up with these epic videos too. And you don't want to just have to find my channel every time I post one. Um, you guys should definitely follow him on Twitter. I just scrolled past the it's it's dragon punk game Spelt exactly how it is dragon punk's taking over the arc world man And I'm not complaining because this right here is straight up orgasm material Dude, I'm just checking out all these crazy ass creatures right now. Right? <laughs> I haven't even looked at any of them I'm just kind of spawning them in right now. I'll look at them when it's when it's damn good time oh, yeah, I forgot there's freaking mermaids around here. Those mermaids are crazy. What is a soul wyvern? Which one are you, sir? Oh, right here. Ha ha. Obsidian soul fiber. Dude, what's going on with this? I'm just gonna get like the whole fam bam in here and we'll all hang out together. Polar soul sulfur wyvern? That sounds that sounds batshit crazy. A gilded dry I don't know what these words are. Azure? Marimorph. Oh, I know what the Marimorph is for sure. I've seen I've seen the Marimorph for shizzle. The Marimorph has made its way into just about every monster mod around here. The Marimorph is kinda like the slut of the Ark modded community. I wouldn't touch her, but we've all been there. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> all right, we have a sulfur worm. There's the best of this polar sulfur worm. There's a whole collection of fan mail. Oh, Siberian, what's going on? These things might be my favorite out of here, just at first look, because they look goddamn creepy. It looks like a whole nother take on chest bursters right here. Ugh, look at that thing. That tail, what does that tail remind me of? What? What has that exact tail? What am I thinking of? And it bursts through someone's- Oh! That's a- Anyone ever seen Mars Attacks? I'm thinking of when the hand- When the hand crawls in and it goes through and the end of the hand's like exactly like the- Damn, Mars Attacks. Ack, 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 ack. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in forever. I gotta check that shit out. Alright, so... Oh man, I missed that movie. That's that good. That's good old-fashioned movie right there. Alright, let's show you the difference. Okay, so we got the Sulfur Worm and the Polar Sulfur Worm. I'm assuming you're more used to cold, colder climates, right? I actually like these creatures a lot. Usually random monsters that come into games are super like buggy or just not well created or stuff because it's just life. This motherfucker's got lobster- oh man demonetized, but it's, they got lobster claws. That's so crazy. So trippy. By the way, did everyone hear the awesome news? I mean, we got- yeah, this, this one's- this one's even bigger right here. Actually, I'll just go ahead and- if you- I said the awesome news during my stream, but it would also- that was right in between burp and throw up right there. That was that was trippy. It would also be cooler if it was just like a surprise when Aberration comes out. Yo, I like these things. I almost feel like these should be their own mod right here. You just add, especially if they could somehow get the animation of a Perlovia, some sort of burial, bur burying, but burying, bur bur shh, burying. If you go to bury something, bury, bury, bur I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot. that's what three hour streams do to you. I'm forgetting how to say words. Ah, are you a little taller than this guy? I think you might be. So it's like a it's like a height thing. They go by They're the, the craziest is the biggest. Yeah, I like these things dude. This thing is creepy as hell. I love its big worm tail, too Jesus If it, it just vaporize that thing I'm a fan of this. I know there's other monsters here. I should be paying attention to as well But I'm a fan of this. Let's try a gilded dr drillion. What's going on, buddy? What's the haps? Oh yeah, I would always look out for Even if you don't like the way creatures look in this game always check out their animations because Shadlos is very good at getting them to do cool stuff Do you hear that scream right there by the way? A slight hint of I want to say Mothra at the very end. That's like a good scream right there. I like that I'm a fan I want to play on these sulfur worms again one more time before I go and move on to the next thing because these things are actually I love them, dude. They look terrified. Look like they would get along perfectly wherever they're going. Their spikes make me think they go underground and stuff like that. They would have to purely burrow with their face. Burrow, 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 burrow. Thank you, Jesus, God, man. This is gonna haunt me forever. What's the torpor at a level 1188? Burrum, no, worm. Wirem? Worm. Ooh, I get it, like worm, because they're kind of like worms, but I don't think, what? 
All right, so the last thing I'm looking at today is Eco's Terrariums. They've been updating like crazy, and I haven't been noticing, and I think these are one of the most beautiful things in ARK. I mean, obviously Eco or Echo. I hope Echo or Eco. Jesus. I, mispro I find a way to mispronounce anything possible, but... Her decorations have helped me, helped me such, help, help make Ark such a beautiful place. I should just stop speaking directly after this video. That's just it for me right there. She max out at like 10,000 words a day. I love even the honey dripping underneath the beehive. Look there, it's there fudging that bear up too. Fudging that bear up. Oh, I died a little inside when I said that. Still pretty cool though. I love how there's the red one in there too. Every freaking turret. Oh, there's even a snail right there just to add to the detail. She's like, you know what? This needs a little little drop in the corner right there. I hope the bear ends up okay. I mean, I'm a little worried for him right now. Those bees are no joke. It's all fun and games, but those aren't- this isn't- this isn't poo and honey or bees. This is- this, those things are killers. Over here, we have the monkey temple. You literally have something for everyone. Look, they're throwing poop at each other! Oh my god, this mod is well done. Look at that, he's just jumping up and this was just throwing crap down at him. An infinite supply of poop. You can have an infinite little poop thorn monkey right in your room, no complaints or nothing. What a beautiful mod right here. Well, the monkey temple is pretty grand as well. What's going on, little fella? I love it. I didn't even see this one there. What the hell what else is going on around here? And I wonder if anything's ever going on in the back of these. Awesome skeletons. Yeah, I never really checked the back. I just... <laughs> This is really cool though. Look at this. The snow one. It's just a mammoth taking on two wolves right there. Right to the snow habitat. This one I'm a huge fan of as well. Oh, they even they got the icicles hanging. God, it's so amazing. This really is one of the most perfect mods in Ark. I understand it doesn't help gameplay a lot, but it, it's when you're chilling at your house though, this is one of the most entertaining things you can do right here. Like, this is what keeps us from turning into a Conan community, where 99% of the mods are just to remove genital hair. Oh, I didn't even see that wolf right there behind him. Dude, the mammoth is Gardunzo beans. Poor fella. Someone's dying here. It upsets me. And here we have the Otter Terrarium. By far the prettiest one yet. There we go. Put the sun right there so we can see perfectly into it. See, there's the top. Yeah, oh, it's all perfect. Look at that. He's just chilling on top. They can't really bask in the sun, which is kind of sad, but we'll figure it out. They can bask in the sun this way. Yes, there we go. You've got a little salmon in there. I am amazed with this. This is why this sounds like, yeah, I'm going to be looking at a few completely epic things today. Uh, Ark and freaking like Pokemon Go styled Ark game, as well as, what's the word for that? So I can stop saying Pokemon Go styled. Because it sounds like they're copying it. I really don't think they are. I, I think, if anything, Pokemon Go copied Ark. I understand the timeline isn't there, but it's how I feel. Wow, she really got those those perfect little uh, otter animations. They don't just like kind of float there. Like this one's just chilling with his belly up. This one's just sun basking, and these two are just little aquatic dancers. I would definitely have this in front of my super villain desk. Absolutely. Look at them. I would name them too. Yep, this is pretty mesmerizing. I could watch this. I could watch this for a while. This is, that's why this is an amazing mod right here. There's so many others. There's this one I wanted to put down, but I just don't have enough space, and it's breaking my heart. I tried everywhere, but look at it. Kind of get a glimpse of it from over here. Like, you see the Moza and the Plessy right there? Jellyfish skeletons. It's just the entire underwater cave. Very baller stuff to put in your base right here. All right, so yeah, if you guys want to mess with any of these mods too, or just the, the Twitter link is in the video, obviously you should have seen it, but these mods, this one and uh, Pyros Mythos mod over there are both in the description below. So I'm trying not to throw up right now. I haven't eaten in a long time because of that stream. I'm eating right after this, totally, absolutely. But also I wanted to say, if you guys see any YouTubers, because this was bugging me earlier, if you guys see any YouTubers posting ARC mods and stuff like that, but not sharing the mod link so that the person could actually get some credits, Please let them know like start just I do whatever you got it to get their attention because if someone spends a long ass time on a mod And then someone posts it not even saying that it's like a mod or where to find it or anything I just I, I that's sad because these people work they spend so much their mods are their lives just like my videos my life I don't have a life <laughs> But yeah enough of this beauty right here. Oh god the palm trees too. I don't even know which one I'd pick You'd all just be in separate rooms. I would have to have a pretty baller house full of shrunken animals Sounds amazing. So yeah, if you guys have a good time watching, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! It's time to get swifty in here.